Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I actually wanted to do something a little bit different. So we typically make content about how you can become an analyst. And this is in the context of working as a full-time employee. But I keep getting question after question of how did I start my consulting agency? So I thought, you know, I've got enough feedback that I might as well go ahead and make this video. So here's my story of how I actually started my consulting journey. I went through an MBA where I had three different internships. The first two internships is where I worked with a massive company with a middle level manager. And I was just doing very simple analysis within their data sources. What happened on the third internship, which was simultane simultaneously happening with my capstone project, is that I found a much smaller company where I could work directly with their president. And what I did was I turned an internship that was essentially designed for someone who might even be an undergrad. And I pitched them this idea that, hey, you want to do one line review. But if you hire me as your intern over a three month period, I can design you an analytics infrastructure that is going to scale across all of your 17 assortments. So this was kind of my big breakout moment where I kind of got out of the traditional mindset of being a full-time employee and kind of into the space of analytics and entrepreneurship, which I don't see very many people in this space, or maybe these people just aren't on YouTube or out in the podcast world. So I finished up my capstone, my analytics consulting internship, and then also my MBA all at the same time. What happened from there was the president of that company asked me to consult for them. So I started my consulting agency by leveraging my internship experience. And this is how I landed my first client. And I feel like it's a little bit of a strange story. I haven't heard anyone else going this route, but I think the lesson that you can glean out of this is that you should leverage your existing contacts to find your first client. You shouldn't go out and try to sell the CFO or CEO or CMO of some company you don't know. If you've been working in the analytics space for a while, then you probably have some big wins. And then tie those wins back to some influential people, and maybe those are the first people that you should reach out to when you're looking to start your consulting journey. That pretty much wraps up my story. I didn't want to ramble on too long, but if you guys like this kind of content, leave me a comment down below and let's discuss this. I'm open to making more iterations of this, or if you guys don't like it, I can stick to kind of the traditional analytics employee career advice.